Hi, Bio30. Welcome to my video where we're talking about a different type of inheritance, which is called incomplete dominance or another type called codominance. So normally in our other traits that we've been talking about, there's been one trait that's dominant over the other, but these ones, neither of them is dominant over the other. So there's different combinations that we can end up with, which is what I'm going to be explaining in this video. So we're going to talk about the difference between the two, starting with incomplete dominance. So in incomplete dominance, there is no dominant allele. Instead, our alleles act together to form kind of an intermediate, a mixture of the two. So I think about when I'm mixing paint in, in this example. So if I was going to take red paint and white paint and mix them together, it would make pink paint, which is a whole new color. So my example here, I talk about snapdragons, which is a type of flower. You can actually have red snapdragons and you mix them with white snapdragons and you create a pink snapdragon. So these are what snapdragons look like. Okay, these would be the red ones, the pink ones, the white ones. On the other side, okay, co-dominance, both of the alleles are still expressed. So kind of like a Dalmatian or something along those lines that has spots, okay, would be an example of co-dominance. The example that we're gonna be using is in cattle where it takes a red bull and a white cow, or vice versa, and creates a rowan cow. There's white hairs and red hair still present on the cow, but it, from far away, looks like a little bit of a different color. So you guys can see on this cow, there's white hairs, there's red hairs, so it kind of turns into spots a little bit. So that is codominance versus incomplete dominance. Incomplete creates a whole new trait, whereas codominance, both of the original traits were still present, um, just kind of in different ways. So we're going to start with some incomplete dominance questions. So looking at some red snapdragons versus white snapdragons. Now, because we do not have a dominant versus recessive trait, I'm going to write out just what each letter combination means. So if I have a, a big R, big R on an I, I'm connecting it to the I to represent that it's incomplete dominance. And I'm not going to just use big R, big R and little r, um, little r, little r because it's not a dominant versus recessive trait. So I'm using two different letters. I picked R and I picked W because there's one trait, but there's two alleles that neither of them are dominant and I connect them to an I to represent that it's incomplete dominance so I know that it's not a normal dominant versus recessive question. So then I have the white genotype which is I big W, I big W and I'm using a big letter for both R's and W's to again represent that they're kind of both dominant and then if I have a combination of R and W on the I's that represents pink. So the parents in this crossing are red and white so the gametes would look like this. So each gamete gets one I with an R or a W connected to it. When I put my gametes into my Punnett square, it would look like this. And when I cross them, I get one R over here and one W, one R and one W, one R and one W, and one R and one W. So that means that all of my offspring from this crossing are all pink. Okay, another example of incomplete dominance, we're looking at a red snapdragon and crossing it with a pink snapdragon, so my same legend. Okay, my parents' genotypes this time are IRIR or IRIW. So gametes are looking like this. I throw them into my Punnett square, and this time I end up with one red snapdragon, another red snapdragon, and one pink snapdragon and another pink snapdragon. So I end up with a 2 to 2 ratio, which I'm going to make smaller into a 1 to 1 ratio between red and pink. And then I'm going to do one example with you guys of co-dominance. So this is when I take a white horse, and this time I'm going to be using a chestnut colored horse. So this is a little bit different than the example I had when I explained what codominance is. So a white horse and mix it with a chestnut horse, I get a rowan horse, which is a combination of the white and the chestnut color. So again, I'm writing my legend. CW, CW is white. CH, CH is chestnut. And CW, CH would be red rowan. So my genotypes, I'm crossing two red rowan horses so they have a combination of the w and the h my gametes look like this w h w h and i'm going to put them into my punnett square and when i do the cross i end up with 
two of the CWs, I end up with one CW and one CH. I end up with another CW and another CH, and my last one is a CH, CH. So this example, I have a different ratio than the other two. I ended up with a one to two to one ratio because I have one white horse, I have two Rowan horses, and I have one chestnut. So tomorrow in class, we're going to be working through examples about incomplete dominance and codominance. You do need to know the definitions of them and be able to tell the difference between the two. Remember that incomplete dominance is like a mixture of the two to create a whole new color, whereas codominance creates a different name, but both of the alleles are still present. But the other one, it makes a whole new color. So hopefully you guys had an easy time understanding this. If not, you can ask me questions tomorrow when you see me. But other than that, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all tomorrow.